Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on August 25, 2016 in the Cabarrus County area, North Carolina, United States. The walk was in my NC Creekside Nature Preserve. The 30 second nature video we create today is of a green striped grasshopper. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got to work with here today for a clip. We're going to produce a 30 second video out of uh, Final Cut Pro X on a Mac. And uh, the raw footage we have here today is about 53 seconds. But uh, we've got some footage here that eh, not too much happening. He's moving a leg around, moving a leg around. Get to a point though where he loses his balance. Let's take a look at that uh, uh, frame by frame here. He's kind of uh, reaching with his legs, reaching with his legs. Finally, whoop. <laughs> Tips right around and kind of catches himself with his leg there so he doesn't fall completely off the the plant. Interesting the way he maneuvers his legs and uses his uh, almost looks like a one one finger uh, hand there where he can use the very end of his leg to uh, to grab things. Very careful about where he's putting his his legs. Oop, nothing there. <laughs> Oop, there we go. And uh, now he's just going to move off a little bit here. Oop, <laughs> fall right off the plant. Okay, well we've picked an in and out here. I think I think it's safe to say that this little segment is what we want to produce here today. And uh, let's take a look. Got some dead space there, dead space. Let's just shorten this up to the cursor there. And let's take a look at this end here. Got a little bit of dead space. Let's shorten that up to there. All right, and that's our rough cut that we use here today. Let's uh, put a custom speed on that or a custom duration there. We'll take it from 11 seconds to 30 seconds. That's going to slow her down here today. Let's go ahead and hit uh, Shift Z and move that timeline into a place where we can see the entire timeline and now we can sort of scrub through here and see what we've got going I think we've got it pretty close to what we want there let's just look at this in uh, real time here On Final Cut Pro to, to play and stop, we just hit the space bar and the keyboard, and that uh, plays our video for us. And uh, because we're going at uh, such a slow speed here, our audio is uh, pretty messed up sounding, so we're going to grab the audio and and uh, turn it off the audio on on the, the timeline is displayed in a waveform underneath here we can turn that up so that we can see just the waveform and not the video there and uh, we can grab it and just move it down to zero so that in effect 
completely removes our audio from there so it doesn't sound really strange as we're playing the video and then we can go back here and we can turn it on so we can just see the video now that we're working with the, just the video now this branch is slightly moving around here I think I think I'm just gonna throw a stabilization on here just to, to make sure that it's a little more rock steady here let's uh, take and what we're going to do is uh, select the video here and we're going to just turn on stabilization now when we do this process the timer up here in the upper left can corner uh, is showing us the process it's going through an analyz analyzation process of looking for movement in the entire uh, video and uh, it's actually taking and re-rendering it right now and uh, if we watch sometimes you can almost see it pop or crop there we go it just cropped in there a little and that amount of crop is how much movement it took out during the course of the video so if we play it now he's still moving around everything's still moving but now he's just steadier he's something we can study closer because now the the basically instead of him moving around the plants moving around a little bit it's really subtle in this video but uh, I think it'll help a little bit now in this video he starts out pretty much composed right into the center of the frame but then he steadily kind of heads to the left hand corner and one of the things we can do with action like that is we can zoom in a little bit and look at the action with the Ken Burns effect and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the what they call the uh, razor blade and uh, let me see if I can get that there we go and I'm gonna cut the video right here now we have two sections of video and what I'm gonna do with that is uh, I'm gonna take this section of video and this is the section that we're going to do the Ken Burns effect on and uh, the idea is that we want to start we're transitioning now from this video to this video so we want to start full screen and we have to make sure that the start effect is full full screen here and what we're doing it then is we're going to take the end and we're going to line it up right down here at the corner and we're just gonna crop it a little bit now let's just take and see so what it has the effect of doing we don't see it panning here because it's just showing us the start and end but uh, it's almost like we can maybe just a hair more we're gonna take this here and just do it a, a hair more now let's complete that and uh, let's kind of scrub through here and see what we've got we've got the transition here and now we're kind of zooming in zooming in zooming in oh, <laughs> it falls off the end now let's take a look at that in real time just to see what it looks like here all right he catches himself he goes around he's maneuvering
zooming in, panning a little bit. Yep, there he goes. So right at the end, he's pretty well composed and in the center of the, the photo there. Just detected a little bit of movement with the transition. So we, we just want to make sure that when we uh, look at the Ken Burns, let's take and uh, just narrow down what we're looking at here a little bit. And what we want to do is just make sure that we're really getting all of the, the screen there when we're starting out. Um, so we minimize the transition that occurs there. It's just like it's starting to move the camera. And zoom in. Okay. Now, this over here turns on our uh, transitions. And the transition I use the most is a cross dissolve. So he falls off. Just going to make that a little bit shorter. You know, I think what we need to do is we need to add just a little bit of area onto here. Just to give us a little room to put that cross dissolve in there. So we want them falling off. We want you to be able to see the action and we want to dissolve out. And that added just a little over half a second. We can still call that our 30 second video. And uh, I believe we have a 30 second nature video.